Hi everyone, Mrs V here and we are back in the lockdown lab and today we are going to be looking at the reaction between copper oxide and sulfuric acid. Now this is a cool reaction but it does tend to be a bit slow. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my sulfuric acid and I'm going to put it in some hot water to heat it up because we know increasing the temperature is going to increase the rate of reaction. Okay, our acid's nice and warm now. We're going to take it out of the hot water and I'm going to put the acid into my beaker here. We're going to use around about 100 mils of acid for this frac. I'm going to take my copper oxide. This is a black powder and I'm going to get my lockdown spatula and I'm just going to get a bit of the black powder onto that spatula. Then I'm going to put it into the sulfuric acid, stir it up and we're going to watch the magic happen. Okay, here we go. You're watching now, we're looking for a colour change to occur. Can you see a colour change occurring? Look at that! It's gone blue. Our black powder is still a little bit on the bottom, I'll just stir it in. But our black powder has disappeared and we are left with a blue solution. Did you enjoy that one? That's one of my favourite chemical changes. Let's have a look at the equation for this reaction. So this has been the reaction of a metal oxide with an acid. So we know that that produces a metal salt and water. In this case the metal salt is copper 2 sulfate because sulfuric acid makes sulfate salts. Let's write a balanced equation for this reaction. Copper 2 oxide is CuO. And sulfuric acid is H2SO4. Copper 2 sulfate is CuSO4. And water, of course, is H2O. And what we see is this equation is already balanced, so all we need to do is add some states. Copper oxide is a solid, all acids are always aqueous. The copper sulfate is the blue solution, and water, of course, is a liquid. So there you have it, the reaction of copper oxide and sulfuric acid. I will see you guys in the next video.